How's everybody doing? I, I, I do hope everybody's doing well. So in the parasha this week, we learned that Noah was matzahen be'ene Adonai. Noah found favor in the eyes of Hashem. That sounds like a beautiful thing. But even calls Noah ish sadiq tamim ayah bedorotav. Noah was like a righteous man. He was perfect in his generation. Like Noah, you would think, I mean, in that generation, he was, you know, a sadiq. He had to be really, really good. Yet, next week's parasha, Hashem speaks to Abraham Avinu and basically tells Abraham Avinu, Abraham, you're going to be my guy. What was different between Abraham and Noah? You would think, and it's clear, Abraham's generation was better um, than Noah's generation. You would think, why wouldn't Hashem give Noah the opportunity to be the guy? You know, Noah, you could be the father of the Jewish people, the chosen people, like that would be special. What did Noah, he found favor in the eyes of Hashem. He was a sadiq. He was tamim, he was perfect. And in fact, with Abraham Avinu, it only says Abraham Avinu was perfect only after he had his Brit Milah, when he was 99. But before that, it never mentions Abraham Avinu was perfect. Never mentions Abraham Avinu was a sadiq. You would assume he is, but it doesn't say it. Noah clearly says it. So, what is it? What is the main fundamental difference between Noah and Abraham Avinu? You know what I think? This is what I think. You know, I if you follow sports, look, I give a sports analogy. You mind? Well, nobody's going to tell me no on this thing. I'm just going to do it anyway. You can't say no, right? You're probably looking at no sports analogies. No. If you're even watching, which I don't think anybody really. Well, maybe they are. Anyway, but either way, let's go. I'm going to give a sports analogy, okay? So you have a player who scores 30 points a game. 12 rebounds, and he's fantastic. Then you have another player who may not even be as great as that first player, but he does something. He makes the people around him better. See, for the for the for the for my my own brain, I think Magic Johnson was one of like the top two or three players to ever play. Because when you were on the court with Magic Johnson, he made you better. You know, like I look, Aaron Judge is asking for like 45, 50 million dollars a year. I like Aaron Judge. But he's not he's not a player that makes people around him better. The team stunk in the playoffs. Don Mattingly, for some reason, I believe, would never get swept. Ricky Henderson made people around him better. He stole bases. He took attention off of the guys around him. It, Derek G the same way. Made people around him better. Judge doesn't. He's a fantastic player. He's better than all those other guys. But fundamentally, he just doesn't help people around him. And when I... Look at the team. My team is not that much better with Aaron Judge than another player. But if I get somebody who could lift everybody's play around on the team, then my team is better. Magic Johnson, the Lakers, were always fantastic because he made the guys around him better. Jordan did the same thing. Some other great players never did that. Charles Barkley was a fantastic player. But the people around him never got better. Carmelo, the same thing. The people around him never got better. You know? What's my... You see my answer already? Abraham Avinu had a knack for making the people around his generation better. He lifted the generation. Hashem said, you're my guy. The team's better with you on it. Noah, the team lost. It was a flood. Everybody died. As great and as perfect and as a sadiq as Noah was, he didn't make the people of his generation better. And so the lesson is clear for all of us listening, if anybody still is, or if I got you angry at me that I said, I don't think Aaron Judge makes people around him better, and I wouldn't give him that much money. If I got you angry, sorry, but you understand what I'm saying. You know, you could be a great person, and I'm sure everybody listening to this is great, but Lift the people around you. Inspire the people around you. Motivate the people around you. If you're going to shul, tell somebody to go with you. If you're going to a class, push people to come. Recruit for the class. Recruit for the minyan that you're in. If you're going to do a kindness, you're going to volunteer somewhere. Get people to come with you. Be a leader. Be Avraham Avinu. Make the team better. Have a great day. Shabbat Shalom.